From the moment you enter Salem, Massachusetts, you're surrounded by history. But one of the most unlikely places you'll find it is in a quiet little building located directly across the street from the famously historic House of the Seven Gables. In this ordinary gray building, Bob Burke and Shonda's family have been keeping history alive one piece of candy at a time at Ye Old Pepper Candy Company, the oldest commercial candy manufacturer in the U.S. I'm Bob Birkinshaw. I'm the owner of Ye Old Pepper Candy Company. We make the first piece of candy manufactured commercially in the country, which is the Gibraltar. In our store, we have a jar that's 175 years old, and we tested them until they were 150 years old, and at that point, we sealed the jar off. Up until 150 years, they were still edible. The texture had never changed. They had lost their flavor because flavor is like perfume, so over the years it evaporated. But the texture and consistency of the candy is still the same. Now, the Gibraltar originated in 1806 with the Mrs. Mary Spencer. Uh, she was shipwrecked on her way from England here and was destitute when she arrived in Salem. She did start to make the Gibraltar. It became such a popular piece of candy that uh, she bought a Hudson wagon and used to travel to the different towns in the area selling them. Uh, that is our logo today of Mrs. Spencer on a Huss and Wagon. Uh, when she died, her son took over the business and kept it for a couple of years. But hearing that he had inherited a fortune in England, sold the company to George Pepper. George Pepper introduced the blackjack, which was the first stick candy made commercially in the country. My grandfather <coughs> went to work for the Peppers as a young boy cleaning the floors. Mm -hmm. He eventually worked his way up through shipping, manufacturing, and eventually ended up buying the company. When my grandfather passed away, my father took over the business and went from there. I became interested in the business from an early age because I was making candy at the age of 10. And so I've been with it all my life. We also have the whole family involved now. I have my son who's head of manufacturing. You gotta let it, I gotta let it go back out, right? Yeah, now you let it go, yeah. Yeah, you're getting a little carried away. Yeah, I was getting a little carried away. <laughs> Candy, a lightsaber. Yeah, go right ahead. It's always been a family operated business, and uh, we hope it keeps going for many, many years to come. Bob Birkinshaw, thank you very much for spending some time with us today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in. The Birkinshaws have been making Gibraltars, Blackjacks, and hundreds of other candies here in Salem, Massachusetts for three generations. Their business is one that has been family owned and operated since Mrs. Mary Spencer first began making and selling her now famous Gibraltar recipe from the church steps more than 200 years ago. Bob Birkinshaw and his son Craig are keeping New England tradition alive as the caretakers to this centuries-old business. If you're looking for a sweet example of the spirit of New England and the spirit of Massachusetts, look no further than Derby Street in Salem, where you'll find Ye Old Pepper Candy Company.